is um, this is this is Margie. Margie Margie is an ornithomimid dinosaur. Uh, her her um, official name is Struthiomimus altus. Um, basically, she was an ostrich mimic. She was an animal that looked very much like a large ostrich with a tail. Um, she's uh, she was related to uh, the meat-eating dinosaurs. Um, the ostrich mimics had lost their teeth, and um, one of the things that was revealed on the skull here and this is the skull back in here, buried in the middle of it, believe it or not, um, was that uh, there was a horny beak uh, on the end. So there was, it, it, she was very much more bird-like than we might have imagined uh, even a short time ago. Um, it's especially true with the, uh, with the realization that many small theropods, and, and Margie at, at 16, 17 feet long was, was really um, not that big as dinosaurs go. But uh, the many of the small theropods that were related probably to Margie uh, had, have, have uh, probably had feathers. Margie was actually remarkably well preserved. Uh, the bone quality was really, really, was really uh, good. And finding anything articulated, and articulated means as it was in life like this, uh, is very rare. Um, things, things tend to get uh, predated and, and roll apart and with the weather and the wind and everything and, and, uh, and the water rolling through the sites. And it actually, that sort of thing did affect Margie to some degree, but not as badly as you might have expected. Um, what was originally found of Margie was, was um, the uh, uh, t uh, toe bones and claws from one of the feet, uh, one of the hind feet. <clears throat> and they had weathered loose and were loose on top of the bank, and the rancher, Marge, Margie, had found them and uh, brought them back to me. And what we're looking at here, this is an in situ cast. This is basically, uh, this is a plastic cast of Margie. Margie was sold back in 2006 uh, and is now actually in a museum. This is an institute cast of what we found. This is exactly how we found her buried. She was laying flat instead of up, upright on the wall like this, but she was laying flat. Um, what we have here is the ilium. This is, this is the big flat part of the hip. Um, the sacrum is here in the middle. This is, the, this is where the, uh, the spine, the backbone goes over the hips and the vertebrae all fuse together into a very large piece. Um, so this is the sacrum. Um, let me see, this is the pubic bone here. This would have been down between the legs and, and, uh, and held out the gut. And um, let's see, this is the femur here, coming up right here. And this is actually the knee area. So this is the end of the femur. This is the tibia. This is the lower leg bone up here on the top. And it's folded back. And then this, these are the foot bones. And this is the hind foot here. So that's kind of what we're looking at. She's got her leg crunched back up like this behind her. Um, and that's part of the reason that it's very difficult to see that she was actually uh, six feet tall at the hip. So she was like this. She had a very long leg, actually. Um, let's see here. These are the ribs. And they're all still in place, though the vertebrae that were part, made up the backbone have all been washed away. And that was really a surprise um, when we were collecting uh, Margie uh, we took time to expose the top of the ribs and didn't look any deeper than that, thinking that they were the vertebrae, but it turned out that these were just the ends of the ribs. The vertebrae had actually been washed away um, uh, about the time Margie was actually buried. So um, <clears throat> this is the forearm here. There's a, sh there's a shoulder blade here coming out. And then this is the humerus, the forearm bone, and then the lower arm and the hand. Um, she has a remarkable three three-clawed hand. It's actually not three fingers, it's two fingers and a thumb is what this is. And you, if you hold your hand just loose like this, you'll notice that the two fingers point one way and the thumb points the other. Well, Margie's does the same thing. Two fingers are this way and one thumb is this way. So she actually had like an opposable thumb. She could pick things up. One of the most notable features of this turned out to be what's left here of the neck. There's about four or five neck vertebrae here um, that had not been seen before the skeleton was found. And then in the middle here is the head. Um, and her head wound up plopped in the middle of the body like that, and this is the only known complete skull of this animal. Um, that was a remarkable find, and was actually the last thing to be uncovered in the in the in the course of preparing this and uncovering it. Although the skull was the last thing to be the last thing to be um, found, and no one realized it was there until the last the last thing. Um, so this is uh, she's got no tail. There's no tail over here. That's all gone. Um, you can see that her, her neck is wrapped around it on itself like this in rigor mortis. And that's probably how this happened was that the animal died and the, uh, the muscles contracting like that after death pulled the neck back into a big circle like this. And the head was probably sitting up here in the air. And when the water started moving through the site, it plopped off into the middle of the body and got buried.
So it was really it was a lucky uh, it was really a lucky break. Um, a lot of these bones, the bones of these kinds of animals are very difficult to find. Um, as far as fossils go, they're hollow. They're very much like bird bones. Um, so consequently, they were crushed very easily and, and washed away. And even in this one, you can see that just from movement of the ground, that there was a great deal of, of you know, distortion in some places here. Um, so she's, uh, she's actually quite well, quite well preserved. Um, um, She's really a scientific specimen more than anything, you know. I mean, Margie doesn't have like uh, doesn't have uh, huge teeth or anything like that, you know, that, uh, that that people love to see in their dinosaurs. It's um, it's maybe a little disappointing, but all the same, it's a great fossil.